Mute recap here. Today I will explain, The Neon Demon is a 2016 psychological horror film directed by Nicholas Winding Ref. The movie, an aspiring model in Los Angeles, whose beauty and youth generate intense fascination and jealousy within the fashion industry. Don't forget to subscribe please. In the beginning, we see the movie after the death of her parents, 19-year-old aspiring model Jessie has just moved from small-town Georgia to Los Angeles. She meets photographer Dean, who does her first shoot, and makeup artist Ruby, who introduces fellow older models Sarah and Gigi. The three women are intrigued by Jessie's natural beauty and curious about her hormone perversions, Jessie feigns experience. In the later, Jessie is signed by Roberta Hoffman, the owner of a modeling agency who tells her to pretend she is 19 and refers her to a test shoot with notable photographer Jack MacArthur. The shoot is successful and Gigi and Sarah envy Jessie's youth. Jessie goes to a casting call for fashion designer Robert Sarno, where Sarah is also present. Sarno pays no attention to Sarah, but is entranced by Jessie. A distraught Sarah asks her how it feels to be the one everyone admires. Jessie admits, it's everything, Sarah lunges toward her and Jessie accidentally cuts her hand on glass, Sarah sucks the blood from Jessie's hand. Jessie rushes back to her motel and feigns, hallucinating strange images, at Sarna's fashion show, Gigi tells Jessie about the cosmetic surgery she has had done, as Jessie is closing the show, she sees a vision of the glowing triangle she hallucinated before. After the show, a visibly changed Jessie goes out with Dean to a bar. There Sarno denigrates women who have cosmetic surgery, using a humiliated Gigi. As an example, in contrast, he praises Jessie's natural looks. Dean challenges Sarno's view and tries to convince Jessie to leave, but she rejects him. Now displaying a new narcissistic persona, Jessie has a nightmare of being forced by Hank, the lecherous motel owner, to swallow a knife. She wakes up to hear someone fidgeting with her door lock. She quickly turns the deadbolt, but is left to listen as the intruder breaks into the next room and assaults the 19-year-old girl occupant inside, terrified. She calls Ruby, who invites Jessie to her home. Ruby tries to initiate hormone activities with her, but Jessie rejects her, revealing herself to be a virgin. Ruby draws a lipstick face symbol on Jessie's mirror and leaves for her second job as a makeup artist at a moor, where she pleasures herself with a female corpse. Ruby returns home and finds Jessie now unabashed in her narcissism. Sarah and Gigi arrive and attack Jessie. Ruby pushes her into an empty swimming pool, breaking her leg. The women then approach her with knives after they butcher Jessie and consume parts of her body. They all bathe in her blood. Ruby is revealed to have occult tattoos. She lies in Jessie's unmarked grave and later, nude in her house is a torrent of blood gushes from her genitals as she urinates. The next day, Sarah and Gigi attend one of Jack's shoots with another model named Danny. Jack is suddenly enthralled with Sarah and fires Annie. In the midst of the shoot, Gigi feels ill and leaves. Sarah watches Gigi vomit up one of Jessie's eyeballs. She screams with regret, I need to get her out of me and stabs herself with a pair of scissors. Sarah watches Gigi die, eats the regurgitated eyeball, and returns to the shoot. The end credits scene shows a woman, who does not show her face, but looks like Jessie, walking alone in the Mojave Desert. This movie end here. Thanks for watching.